So, chat, it is time. I've been wanting to, to watch this for a while. We're gonna do this uh, right now. If you don't like seeing lewd things online, simply close your eyes and walk away. But what happens when you do close your eyes and walk away, but no matter where you walk away to, you bump right back into it. Whether it's on Twitter, TikTok, or even Twitch. Yeah! Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about the Twitch thought epidemic and its consequences, as well as OnlyFans culture and the de of s I promise this won't make sense. Maybe. Like all my videos are just kind of me- Just to start up the video, I just want to say I fucking hate this. The, uh, the OnlyFans culture? Yeah, I have nothing, yeah. I have nothing against the girls because Platforms allow it, so fuck it. You know, like yeah. they want to do, they do it. Personally, I I just hate it. I and especially on on Twitch, it, it just became a massive, huge, big issue that Twitch is not being able to solve, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like a virus for me. Uh, you you're talking about OnlyFans girls on yeah, Twitch, like the, right? Yeah, like these streams, like these uh, thought streams. You know, like mm -hmm. I, I I just don't like it. It's like people say, okay. If you don't like it, don't watch it. I don't fucking watch it. And they pump 24-7 on my feed. Uh, that's true. You that's know? true. So Even if you don't want to watch it, it's so on your face all yeah. the time. that Literally on your it, face. It annoys you at a yeah. certain point. That's true. Messy brain vomit. I mean, I guess that's one way you could be sure I'm not plagiarizing. When I start to sound smart and make sense... That's a red flag. I figured out how to use chat GPT. So for those of you who are unaware, Twitch is a video game streaming website, or at least it used to be, where people often stream themselves exactly. playing <laughs> video games and interact with their viewers. But recently, in the past few years, it has been invaded by women. But not only women, naked women. Now you naked. might be asking, you might be asking, Shu. It's literally chat <laughs> soft true. porn on Twitch. Yeah, it's like you go on chat a bit, but you're not showing everything, mm -hmm. but something. Yeah. It's like the yeah. moderated version of chat a bit. But it, I don't like it because imagine like this. We, they, I, I, I will be fine if they say, Twitch said this. Hey, mm. we're going to create Twitch 18 plus. Yeah. You know, if there's an 18 plus category, put all of them right there, the sexual, and I don't want, because like, imagine this, our stream also, not only we're competing with this, which is, yeah. in my opinion, almost unfair, mm -hmm. you know, it is, an, uh, we are definitely in an unfair disadvantage yeah. to, towards like someone that, you know, just has big boobs or, you know, large hairs or whatever, mm -hmm. but also... We are like on the feed right next to them, also. Yeah. So it feels like we are, yeah, a lot of people are doing multiple types of content, but I don't know. For me, it just makes me a bit slightly uncomfortable, you know? Nima on YouTube was saying this OnlyFans is one of the shit I hate the most, just a trap to make young mentality weaker. 100 fucking percent. Yeah, man. and young girls' mentality also. Yeah. The, uh, the glorification of this uh, culture, it's so bad for yeah. young women. Yeah. Even worse, they name their stream as workouts. They yeah, had exactly <laughs> workout, yoga, and all that. And you stuff. know, bro, they they have like these goals. It's like 10, 10 subs, uh, one squat. <laughs> it, it's like you literally are paying fifty euros for one fucking squat. And here we are just literally opening our soul and not getting a single sub. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, so, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna squat. No, but th that's how it makes you feel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're trying to grow, you feel like you're in this unfair advantage, mm -hmm. and then you see uh, this happening, and it's like, yeah. fuck, you know, why am I trying so hard to do something legit, something that adds value, something entertaining, while I, especially if you're a girl, yeah, or in an a, attractive a girl. Imagine yeah. an attractive girl, you no, know, very good looking. You have like a nice boobs, nice ass, and these things, like. You think to yourself twice, like, okay, why should I try this hard, you know, whenever I can just maybe be in bikini and uh, make a lot of fucking money? Yeah, and, and uh, it, it has nothing related to, like, uh, just being a girl is, it, is also gets, you know, into yeah. that place. 
uh, if you are a woman and you are struggling just chatting without showing anything mm-hmm. and then you see you go and check all these women sometimes it makes you feel oh, what the hell you know yeah. for men it's uh, not a choice okay but yeah. for women it is you know and you kind of try to think okay maybe i should wear more cleavage and all that stuff to just yeah. attract more yeah you put know? the makeup but yeah. you know it's very easy to get into that track yeah. if you're not mentally strong it, it, it's definitely you'll trade your values for money and that's all it comes to you know it, it is attractive you know that just because you're showing your half boobies you're not mm-hmm. even uh, showing full boobies and you're getting a lot of viewers and a lot of money yeah if you are a young woman who is like 18 16 17 it is really attractive for them to get into that path yeah but it's not healthy uh new new one you to be saying being 16 but watching my mates falling for this thirst trap is just fucked up it is bro 16 years Yeah, yeah, they for oh. 100% man. Like, I thought it, like I thought uh, this content is more for like um it is for listen, it's it's for every man every age. Okay? Mm. There's literally no age uh, that this content will not appeal for men. Mm-hmm. But for I think it appeals like to uh, I'll not say like to weak men, but is more like to yeah, also here I don't think the men in a way are also the the, the responsible in all of these mm-hmm. because a lot what happens a lot when it comes to porn when it comes like to only fans when it comes like to these thirst traps like he's saying and well yeah. it's they are leveraging lonely men you know they uh, that they you know they just want some female attention mm-hmm. and they go to these streams they they probably you know they are doing very well in life they have good salaries they but they don't have any any connection with the they don't have or a relationship or they don't have a female friend or they don't have a girlfriend uh and they go into these chats and they are like okay i'm going to put here i'm going to donate you a lot of fucking money and uh, maybe you'll say my name you know mm-hmm. or maybe you will you acknowledge write it on your oh, okay. board there, or there your is body this, yeah there's this big fantasy that mm. these women they play on there is the the girlfriend fantasy e girlfriend yeah. fantasy i like i they are playing that oh if he oh if i give her a lot of money mm. she might have be my girlfriend and yeah. then they also play into these things you know mm. uh they they keep you hooked and in only fans like the other day i saw and probably is going to appear on this video but there mm-hmm. was like this uh this tweet from amarant mm-hmm. from like to f- three or four years of um, only fans she made 57 million dollars Hmm. which 26 million dollars 26 or 27 million like half was uh texting message that it's not even heard they have like uh a... they they have they have assistants she has assistants uh like she showed like in that talk you like there's like yeah. two or three girls and they answer these messages and they answer in a way that or they ask a question so mm-hmm. you go and you pay more five dollars to get the text back to get the text so you text oh. again or they 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 leave some information so it gives you leaves like, listen everything and is the the the, the so thing far. is like she's not uh, she's even telling you that and if you're still doing that i don't know what you know it's really foolish no no they, they don't want to believe they like these yeah. th- these men that are like sucked in into these things mm-hmm. they want to keep the fantasy alive mm-hmm. they don't want to break the fourth wall to to come to the realization that yeah i just spent like fucking 20,000 euros yeah into oh. only fans girl that but yeah she's texting me she's my girlfriend i she yeah. gonna meet me mm-hmm. you know like you know like it, it's yeah, pretty yeah so very very i i, I feel like it's uh, I have empathy for these men mm. and it is just like it's a predator these women are predators and I feel like these men are the victims but also it it's a responsibility it, it, of the men too yeah to you know like it's not like they are full uh, they are, no one is forcing you to do that yeah nobody's forcing you to do that but yeah. they definitely become and they they suck they suck you in I literally. think it's a, it's a, it's a very unethical way mm-hmm to take advantage of someone's vulnerability and then someone you know if someone is alone and going through 
shitty face yeah. and you're cashing the shit out of them. Yeah. Uh, like N- Nemo on YouTube is saying you won't believe 12, uh, y- 12 years old are also included in this type of stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's on fucking Twitch, man. You know, like, you just go here, you probably want to... You probably came to watch Ninja, Ninja the, the Fortnite streamer, mm. and uh, right next to him on the, uh, uh, you know, on the Fortnite section, there, there's maybe a, a girl like this, you know, like, yeah. on the recommended. Y- you know what I'm saying? Like... That that's how how bad it gets. Let, let's but, go back to the video just for a bit. I, I want to say uh, this thing that if you go to Netflix, mm-hmm. no Amazon Prime, they have these uh, different accounts for kids and uh, for adults. Yeah, adults. And blah, blah, blah. I yeah. think Twitch should also do that. This one account which is like eighteen mm-hmm. plus, and if you want to go to eighteen plus, you just switch to that. Pro- yeah, but but Twitch is is only thirteen plus. If you are below, but uh, listen, ah. so many people have <laughs> are, are below thirteen yeah. and they are still watching Twitch. Yeah. I, mean, I know that for sure. What is wrong with that? And normally you'd be correct, but Twitch is a website for kids, advertised for users twelve and up, and predominantly used by young boys. And the question See? on everyone's mm-hmm. mind is: Are sixteen these to twenty-four Jezebels preying on today's youth? Or are they simply the product of capitalism? Clever, sneaky women taking advantage of people living under a brutal system in order to selfishly make money. So about two weeks ago, this tweet showed up on oh, my man. Twitter timeline. What's going on? Bro, the, this girl, I don't even understand. She's not even good looking, man. She, like, literally, for me, at least. On with Twitch, which showed a streamer wearing no shirt, swinging her fun bags around slightly. So you know about these meta? Every time she got a donation. Yeah. So for strictly, research, they oil, they oil the boobs and they show a bit of it. And yeah. The rest are up to your so, imagination. So they, they are they are dressed right. Uh, you know they they are dressed up, but a, 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 at the end of the day, you know it's not um. Uh, what can I say? It's not ethical because, like, they are not they are not naked. They are just making yeah. you believe that they are naked. But like, then you're like wiggling your boobs and things, <laughs> you know. I mean, purposes. I went to Twitch to see if this was real, and surely enough, it was. And it yes. wasn't just one streamer; it was many. many. It was yeah. multiple. It was the entire home. So in Twitch chat, there is this thing for they don't know, they don't know. Uh, also, there is any platform, but. Uh, there is this this thing called is Twitch Meta or YouTube Meta, but on Twitch it's like if something becomes successful, everyone will start doing. And uh, a few years back, they started with Amaranth and Innie Fox, and the, uh, yeah. when they got like very popular, everyone started copying. Then the hot tub Meta oh, got they were banned. Just licking the mic. Uh, yeah, thing. that was because they yeah. they banned the hot tub Meta. So Amaranth was like, okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna do <laughs> licking sexual sounds on ASMR section mm-hmm. like she's fo- she, she knows how to bend the rules you know yeah. page and then when you went to click on one of the streams it just took you there no verification needed no login required oh oh okay there is also this other thing a lot of these streams they uh, see if they are sexual see if they have sexual content they have no ads why Oh, because no one... Because uh-huh. the brands don't want... It. But I will tell you this. On Twitch, having no ads, it is better for almost everyone. Mm. Except maybe like big, big, big streamers. Mm-hmm. Because it is so freaking annoying that you get ads. Mm-hmm. You're watching a stream, and especially if you're not subscribed to the streamer, uh, you're going to get like... Like, for example, we, get, we have to uh, run three minutes of ads... Every uh, every th- thirty minutes, I think it's like one and a half, one and a half. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we don't get pre-roll ads. What mm-hmm. are pre-roll ads? Is like whenever someone is on the feed and they find us, whenever they click on the stream, they will not get any ad. Mm-hmm. But if we didn't run ads, Twitch will say, "Yo, if they click on your stream, they'll wait one minute or more sometimes." Oh. To then get inside on your stream, you know how many times users they click on on Twitch uh, on Twitch streams and, and then ad? And there is an ad, mm. and I don't wait for the ad, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, move on. M- you move on. Yeah. You you just like okay, uh, yeah. Never mind. It's not that worth it. Yeah. You know, I, I'll I'll just get out of the stream. Especially when people have very less uh, 
attention you know yeah yeah especially when you're smaller and you're trying attention. to grow having a pre-roll ads is one yeah. of the the things that destroys your growth yeah so by you being labeled as sexual content streamer you don't get that you don't get ads so you know it's good for them it is very good for them mm. it's like non interruptions it, everyone that clicks on the stream instantaneously gets on the stream. You will notice this. Yeah. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should label this as the, uh, sexual content on the stream so we don't get ads. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And the whole internet pretty much agreed this was insane. Not everyone. We will get to that. But most people agreed this was crossing a line. Because of all the outrage, Twitch changed the rules. Not to fix the website. They changed the rules in order to save the Twitch thoughts. This was funny. Twitch actually doubled down and made it so twerking, pole dancing, and artistic nudity was allowed. Artistic nudity. What is artistic right. nudity? So obviously, You'll Twitch see. is run by simps. We knew this. Anyway. Artistic nudity. So like, can you glue googly eyes onto your you do like a little meat spin on camera with googly eyed and that would be considered cool and fine because it's art right twitch okay so oh. what what happened they uh so what what it was happening is like twitch moderation team doesn't want to be dealing with these things mm -hmm. okay uh so they opened slightly the scope of what was possible mm -hmm. and they said okay uh, VTubers and uh, on the art category, uh, people can start using nudity because it's an artistic way, but as a drawing. What happened? What do you think it happened the next day? You used to go, you you would go to the art category. All you see was streamers, big streamers, drawing big fat cocks. You know. <gasps> Or uh, everyone all of a sudden was uh, drawing uh, anti... Uh, you know what anti is? No. It's like, you know, anime? Yeah. But oh, porn yeah, yeah. anime. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. It's called anti. Yeah, yeah. So but, they were drawing that. So so I, I just randomly checked this uh, Twitch streamer on Twitch. Uh -huh. She was naked. Mm -hmm. She put not naked, like, you know... And she she put it like the a bar a black bar. There was no bar. Okay. But on her nipple she put some stickers. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. And then she was drawing here. Is that like artistic nudity? That that's also considered as artistic. But okay. But that can be like the other day I, was, I showed you. No, that was not uh, artistic. Okay, so she was being sexual. It was sexual, yeah. Okay, okay. So th there is a difference, right? Yeah. Like there are some people that they are very good at body painting. Painting, that's different. Yeah. That is that, a completely different. That thing. you get to know that the, they are performing an art. Yeah, but but the other day I showed you uh, yeah, this very small streamer. She yeah. usually average, I don't know, like 10 viewers, uh, you know, like 8, 10 viewers. And then uh, she's also an artist. And you could see on the two, uh, you know, body painting streams, which was not sexual. No, yeah. But of course, like she was covering the nipples just because she was naked. She, she got like 20 times more viewers just because of that. Mm. You know, so it, it, it is crazy, man. Um, I, I don't know. Why am I still doing this? So then VTubers, animated YouTubers, yeah. took advantage of this new artistic nudity rule and started streaming their avatars naked. Oh, look at it's this. Called <laughs> Completely and naked. Only for them to get banned while the Twitch thoughts remained. Clearly. And also, there is this thing that if you get banned on Twitch, mm -hmm. is the only platform that I know that is considered a good thing. Oh, why? Because you get a lot of notoriety. You're gonna see like Dextero on on uh, on Twitch, uh, uh, LSF. Like there's these other very big, like all these big accounts. Mm -hmm. Uh, they gonna they gonna promote your stream, especially mm -hmm. if you do like something wild or something like very stupid or something very edgy. The next time you're gonna go live, you're gonna have more viewers than whenever you got banned. Chat. Industry is gonna flash his cock. Yeah, the, and so, get banned. Re remember, like, <laughs> remember that back. girl that she she fucked on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. She it, didn't show, but she she clearly got fucked on on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you you don't see anything, but you see. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It, it clearly, she got yeah. you know, and uh, she she had like twenty viewers or even less. Yeah. Next stream, she came live. 
She had like 400, 600. God bless you. Uh, I, I don't know if people then stayed. I, I don't even remember the name, but yeah. th th that's just the power of something like that. Mm. You know, it, it's the only platform I know that you are actually um, promoted by getting banned. Mm. Um, Nemo on YouTube is saying uh, main task and also Borders, welcome, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, Nima saying main task of uh, making anti was due to the decrease in Japan population. How does it help in uh, I, I don't know. The I, I actually don't know how, how it's related. Uh, mm. Yes, to explain. Let's go back to the video. Okay. 2D girl discrimination. A few days later, Twitch finally banned the Twitch thoughts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was like these things, these uh, wild animals on the on X or the Twitch, uh, mm -hmm. on Twitter, that they were saying that um, they allowed, so they were being discriminating because they banned like these viewers. They was completely fucking naked, you know, like they yeah. did. Yeah. And they said that was discriminating. You know, it was like completely crazy. For a day. If you can't do the time, what a day. Yeah, she got banned for one day. Imagine how, <laughs> how much publicity this has been going on for a very she got. long time. From hot tub streams to ASMR ear licking. Holy shit, Twitch that was insane. Becoming a this meta was too crazy. Especially in the past three years, following a pattern I have been seeing online. A huge increase of OnlyFans models and everywhere and it isn't just my observation it's a fact there are many studies that came out that show pornography and pornography addiction increased significantly during the pandemic yeah. especially for young people and hasn't decreased since and the amount of people making content on OnlyFans has skyrocketed being locked in our houses absolutely did something to our brains you used to yeah. have to go out of your way to see this stuff and now it's everywhere now compare this to how before people wanted to be youtubers now they want to be only fans yeah <laughs> yeah it is a uh, definitely pandemic was um, a very lonely time for men uh, and for everyone yeah, right yeah but here we're talking more like, about men because like they are the target audience and uh like she's saying i think like it, it really fucked us up you know yeah. uh, you know was you know, especially if you were single in that time, you mm -hmm. would stay single for the majority of that time. So mm -hmm. where you got to rescue was going to more online. You know, everyone started becoming like chronically online all the time because there was pretty much nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. um, just besides, you know, watching TV or, or being on, on, uh, on streams or YouTube or whatever. So it is, um, it was a u big issue. And, uh, I hope that a lot of teenagers, especially young, young women, women, they they understand the consequences in, in getting into like OnlyFans and or porn. Mm -hmm. It is because you may regret, you know. You yeah yeah because most of them will not succeed like anything. Yeah, you know. M the majority don't don't succeed. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how hot you are. It's not about that. It looks doesn't matter. You know, it, it matters, but it's it, not everything because like yeah, they're yeah. like, I would say like like one hundred thousand uh, or more like uh, insanely uh, hot or beautiful or whatever women yeah, yeah. you know doing this right. So that's not really your competitive advantage. Mm. Uh, where a lot of people you know, especially for example. Uh, Emirates, she got advantage was because she already had like thousands of viewers. Yeah, she was a normal streamer back then. She, uh, she do... is also very creative. Yeah, she used to do like cosplay. She used mm -hmm. to play WoW. She used to do cosplay in the in these things. Mm -hmm. Of course, when the these thing came, she you know completely skyrocketed in, the, and she's still like the number one uh, OnlyFans uh, girl. But it's not only because of OnlyFans; it was because. She, they, when you say she was created, she definitely created the blueprint mm -hmm. for the majority of these girls. Yeah, you know they, they because what you what you do on YouTube, if you want to become the best YouTuber possible, what do you do? You go to Mr. Beast, right? Yeah. Before you used to go to PewDiePie. So here, people used to see the gap between Amaranth and the rest, and was like, "Fuck, this girl is doing something." 
you know, completely different from the other. Mm -hmm. So, oh, she's doing Twitch? Oh, so now I'm going to create a Twitch stream. How is she do, uh, doing the Twitch streams? Okay, so we're going to go there. I'm going to buy a bathtub. I'm going to do this bikini. I'm going to put the link tree. And before, before uh, OnlyFans was banned mm -hmm. on Twitch, mm -hmm. uh, you could just literally just put there. Link if tree. you sub... Uh, I'll give you my OnlyFans or well, uh, something like that. It was crazy, crazy. But, crazy. but it, it also makes me think like women most of the time, many years they fought about about not being sexualized. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of them, they're glorifying and sexualizing themselves. Yeah. And glorifying it like it's a, in a way that it's a freedom. Mm -hmm. When... It's it's a strange to say that it it is a freedom and I I completely uh, agree that they are getting freedom to do whatever they want, mm -hmm. but at, at the same time they are doing something which they fought for, you know. Yeah, they they fought for centuries to not be the sexual object, exactly. right? Exactly. And now they're themselves doing that. Yeah. And then, for their own benefits, for yeah, their own selfish yeah. benefit. And also, it makes me think: uh, if I have a daughter in next few years, mm -hmm. how can I? protect her to not get into that uh, zone because you know i i, I think the only thing we can do as parents is boost their self confidence and, uh, and 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 pray that you you gave enough morals in your household then mm. but you cannot control it because it is a very shiny glamorous easy path to earn money if you look at it yeah yeah you yeah. know yeah it feels it feels that it way it feels like and if you're young you're not aware of like what's going to happen after and yeah. how mentally exhausting it is, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's fuck, it's a scare me. It is. It is very scary to be yeah. honest. How I talked about this issue a few years ago where I would make fun of people for complaining about... This is like walking into a strip club and being like, get your horny asses out of here. The difference is now everywhere is the strip club it's yeah. to the point where even True. meme accounts Th that's a, what every i said every single way that's exactly what i said like you used to go like five years ago to twitch and if they had a cleavage they used to be called like tots which is like yeah. i don't know express for a horde you know uh but now like if you do that you're just like people are saying oh, okay it's that's a good one she's a good one just yeah, keep, yeah. keep it that way <laughs> keep it that way you know yeah and on every single platform you go to TikTok, you go to Instagram, every single <laughs> where like these women mm -hmm. are sexualizing themselves. Yeah. And it is so annoying that it shows up on your feet. Th th there was a phase like I remember like on Instagram, like maybe seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like in the boom of, uh, you know, uh, of Instagram. There was a lot of that. Yeah. Then it kind of died off. And it. And now God with, with OnlyFans, it rised up again. Yeah, you know, like, so we're going into these waves. But also, I, 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 there is a very thin line where you see that this is not sexual content, even if the girl is, woman is wearing bikini or short clothes, mm -hmm. and then you can see that okay, this is sexual content. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows. Yeah, yeah, it shows. It, yeah. it completely shows. Like, uh, it, it, like it, they not you're not gonna fool anyone. <laughs> yeah. Know? on Twitter are being paid to discreetly advertise OnlyFans. Okay, uh, what she's talking about, that was the most annoying thing about Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know how many follows and comments I get and replies from my these fucking OnlyFans bots? It is insane. Like, mm -hmm. if you're a dude on Twitter, and like, <laughs> first, if you get a certain size, mm -hmm. you're gonna get spammed by these things. And, uh, the problem, like every day, the problem with bots is like even if you ban them, every day they are creating new accounts yeah. and new accounts and new accounts. And uh, I, I really, really hope that also Twitter fixes this because it's a big, big issue in uh, on it. Pages, and you can't even block the f accounts that show yeah. up as ads on Twitter. Great website, Elon. 13 plus, by the way. And mm. anyone who points this out is called a prude or a conservative. If you have an issue with yeah. women making softcore 
on a website full of children, you're the problem. How does yeah. the overall well-being of society affect you, bigot? Most of the internet seems to agree that this Twitch thing was wrong, but there were a lot of people mad at me and others for pointing out the obvious. So we're going to respond to some of those critiques from people who disagree on this subject, and then we're going to talk a little more deeply about all of this. Because I feel like it's a little deeper than the Twitch thoughts. The Twitch thoughts are just a symptom of a disease. Yeah. Why doesn't Twitch just make a new 18 plus site? They do this on Twitch because the market is already saturated on actual porn cam sites. They oh, that's a very good point. They don't go to porn websites because it's saturated. Yeah. So here is like a new market. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's true. That's actually a very, very good point. Yeah. I never thought about that. Won't stand out. They can find a larger, younger audience on Twitch. What I'm trying to say is these should be banned. What I, okay, so my tweet they, was a little harsh. What did you what say? Uh, what I'm trying to say is this whore should be banned. Yeah, one hundred percent. Should be banned. Uh, my, my, my. Okay, so my tweet was a little harsh, but uh, uh, okay, I will maybe saying that ban. I don't know. Just all I want is again hide them. I want a, a way to just you know erase sexual content out of my feed. Yeah. On Twitch, the same way YouTube does that so well. Mm -hmm. There is also sexual content on YouTube. You just never see it yeah. because probably you're not searching for it. That, that's so true. And uh, it, it, they just do an incredible job. And that's yeah. what Twitch has to do. They have to come up with a much better system than what they have. And just put a freaking button on my profile to turn it off. Am I wrong? <laughs> Blaming these women for what Twitch allows and calling them accomplishes nothing except morally grandstanding that you think you're better than them. So first of all, I am better than them. So are you. So is everyone who doesn't make fun on Twitch. And second of all, I know calling them does nothing. I did it because it was funny. These are grown ass women toying. She did it for the for the clouds. <laughs> the TOS. They know what they're doing is wrong. They know they're walking a fine line. That's why they're here on Twitch and not yeah. on the hundreds of adult websites that exist. If a parrot, they're so dangerous to you. Maybe you should lock yourself in the cave. Cry more, little bro, and tell your fellow bros to stop thinking with their dicks. Um, hello, fellow bros. Stop thinking with your dicks. <laughs> Brace yourselves. The incel's about to lose their minds and act like women are ruining Twitch. Lol at the men in these comments admitting they are not attracted to women. I'm sorry you don't like hot women. Maybe work on the internalized misogyny. Nah, sorry. If you don't like huge oiled up... So, so you know what? There is... Not only there was like this rise of these, uh, you know very actively sexual content and women trying to monetize the sexual content through OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. It's at the same time during COVID, there was the race of people like Andrew Tate where the masculinity also also started rising. Yeah. You know? It 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 is rising more in these days. Mm -hmm. Like I see more male creators like uh, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Also, it comes from the that you get a lot of attention if you're yeah. saying something is stupid, you know? It's like the sexual content in the male version, you know? Like, men cannot do... Yeah. For men, yeah. you know? Yeah, they like, can't do the It's the stuff, sexual so yeah. version of men for men. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like, yo, you gotta wake up in the... Blah, 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 you, know, yeah. you know? And all, all those things, that's the, the kind of things, you yeah. know? I, I will say that, you know... It's the same level of... Uh, Making useless shit. Yeah. Okay. So I will say that even if pains to say to me, I even feel like Andrew Tate is definitely better than than these girls because these girls are not, in my opinion, providing anything useful to society. I I will say that Tate is uh, at least providing fifty percent of something useful. Just discard the the fifty percent of outrageous shit that what? he says. Okay. What what useful he is providing a money? No, it, it, okay. What I it, it's the same like extreme right uh, politicians, right? Mm -hmm. You gonna mask in the middle of some some right things that you say. For example, you should wake up. You should exercise. You should improve your confidence. So he does that also because yeah, he I'm does not that. Aware of no, no, content. no. He does that, but then he also says very dumb shit about like misogyny and uh, in, in all these things. Mm -hmm. But that's a strategy, in my opinion, that he used. 
like he's a very clever guy okay yeah like you might not uh again like extreme uh, right politicians mm -hmm. you might not like what they say or their values but yeah. you can identify that there is some genius when it comes to strategy communication and the way they know how to attract attention okay how to attract attention mm -hmm. like they know that if i'm gonna say this this in this way mm -hmm. uh not only maybe i will uh please the most you know shit shit heads you know that they are misogyny and these things but also i'm gonna get a lot of clips of people that are hating on me i'm gonna have a lot of uh, news media talking to yeah me. yeah and, uh, the, literally at one point everyone was talking everyone about was talking about yeah. so he that thing was like very well crafted mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. probably got it also from trump or the, from uh, you know like there are some people that yeah they have that they thing. have this thing you yeah. know they know how to say certain things to yeah. uh, it's called outrage marketing mm -hmm. you know you say in the middle of your uh, speech, you're going to say one or two things very, very outrageous that people will then quote you or take you out of context or something like that. They'll turn it into a clip and then you're going to go viral. Hmm. You know? Uh, like he asks people to go to the gym and now, but then he also says stupid stuff. Yeah, it, it, it mm -hmm. is. It, it, it makes everything. That's why mm -hmm. I was saying that I still think like he has like 50%, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think, I don't see the, any positive when it comes to these uh, to these women. Okay. Milkers bouncing around on a Twitch stream. I'm just gonna assume you hate women. Do straight men even like women? Oh, you're not sexualizing women? You're not just gooning to every woman you see? What do you hate women? What are you, gay? How did they manage to reverse engineer <laughs> being sexist into not going awooga, awooga, honk, honk? Yeah, I, I hate these these thing that the the way they try to manipulate you is uh, if you criticize the content they are doing yeah which obviously you know that they are being predatory to younger men or mm. even every man uh and monetizing on lonely men but if you say anything they're gonna call you oh you're sexist you're uh, uh misogyny yeah uh, blah 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 okay? uh, whatever it is it, it is so disgusting and it feels like you cannot say anything. I, I yeah. mean, it, on today's age on the internet, it feels like whatever you say, you're going to be criticized in a, that, either way. True, so you better just say what the fuck is going on on your yeah. mind. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Every time they see a woman. Incredible. Huge fan of these mammoth milkers, but I do worry <laughs> about the dynamic and weirdness of women who are essentially sex workers interacting with and asking for donations from chat on a site largely used by... Of course, man. Men. Feels like a race to the bottom. When Vosh and I, the people who talk about... Pokemon are saying things have gotten weird. I think that's proof that things have gotten weird. As a sex worker, have a good one, Nemo. Thank you for I coming. I like the blurring of adult and all ages platforms like Twitch and TikTok, but I also don't know what men expected when it's so successful either. I don't know. I guess men expected women not to get borderline naked on a website occupied with children. Maybe the bar is really not that high. There is a market for. Okay, but let, let, let's not also. It's not only kids okay yeah the majority can be kids yeah but it's, it's, it's not it, because i'll tell you this it is not the children that are giving thousands of dollars to these women That's okay true. they might give the one twitch prime or uh, you know like one sub or whatever yeah but they don't have enough money uh to, to, to give to a give lot of thousands donations. of dollars yeah. no way you yeah. know like, so even though they are the majority of the audience and they are being exposed to this and have very negative effects to them because they probably, the, the, from this, they're going to segue to porn or, the, the, you know, or mm -hmm. most likely. Um, or they're going to get like a very big parasocial relationships with the, with these, um, you know, yeah, yeah. streamers. Or, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just like I just hope like I mean I I really want to for this to stop man it, it's been uh, I hate since the the moment that this started on Twitch I always hated it for literally everything that doesn't make literally everything excusable if you give your kid unrestricted access to the internet that's a you problem parents have to take some level of responsibility over uh, their this child's is online fucking content crazy. consumption do so you I think that this, it's uh, do you think it's parents' responsibility to it is not let them use it is but it is also like oh uh 
But how it, or like more and more than, more and more uh kids are getting smarter at the younger age right yeah. they, they are like eight nine and they are already on discord they already even like if it's plus 18 they already have a twitch account they already have everything you know like they already yeah. figured out the ways to go and ban the rules if you should have some parents control of course but it's not like you can babysit your fucking, uh, you yeah, know, totally kid. Yeah, old kid. And it's like, yo, dad, can I go on Twitch, watch Ninja? And say, yeah, go. Yeah. And then uh, after like two hours, then you go and you see and he's like watching like these fucking uh, hot tub girls. Yeah. And, and also, uh, it's I, not just Twitch. You can, uh, okay, you can't ban TikTok, TikTok yeah. Instagram, yeah, any other platform. If they really want to watch, they will watch. And you yeah. cannot also take away their phone because we are not in that yeah. 90s yeah. era now. So, so I know? feel like the only thing that parents can do is, mm. again, going back to uh, what I told you, like you can't control. The only thing you can say is give them self-confidence and put some values on your yeah. household while they yeah. are growing up that they will understand the, the, the very distinct difference between uh, good and bad yeah you know and uh that, that i feel like as a parent that's the only thing you can do like so because if you become like too overprotective mm -hmm. about your kid when he gets to teenage years he's gonna they, go fucking wild yeah he's so, gonna yeah, go that's super exactly wild what and it's gonna be like oh because there there's like these hot tub streamers so i'm gonna block twitch for my kid mm -hmm. so now he's not, not not gonna be able to watch the the great index yeah. You know, oh, the, 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 when you used to stream pet sim, there was like a few parents. Yeah, they, they messaged you that the, you are spoiling kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, had I had one one guy. One? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I I said to him like, this is it's not it's not my uh, my responsibility if he's watching the stream. Yeah. And uh, also, I was not doing this content. I was uh, yeah, fucking was playing a... video. I was playing Roblox, which well, is meant for like a thirteen-year-old kids mainly. You know, most of them they, yeah. they play that game. I, I didn't even like that. Parent was so fucking creepy to me. It was the only text that I got. I never got any complaints. If if, that, if, that's if so, next level of stupidity. If so, Jam and other parents mm -hmm. that I know that they watch my stream, mm -hmm. uh, they send pictures of them watching stream together and these things. Oh. That was cute. Yeah. Um. And yes, I curse on the stream. I used to yeah. curse on the stream. I said, listen, if you don't want, just block me or whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> I think like they also realized it was not that bad. Yeah. You know, the the way I curse. It was never like very harsh. Yeah, it and was it like very normal cursing. Normal cursing, yeah. and most of the times, just to make it, you know, seem it was to be funny. Yeah. You know, that that's the way it is. Um, Pradeep is saying, I think uh, parents' responsibility to take them, uh, to make them understand what it is and how it's no good. But parents can do anything more than that. Yeah, that's True. exactly what yeah. I said. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's at the end of the day. I feel like parents can do the to best they their, can. Yeah. But again, are you going to block Twitch? You know, are you going to block if he really likes to watch a streamer, you know, or his favorite creator on Twitch? Now he's going to get blocked because there is this content. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the parents' fault. And also definitely it's not the kids' fault. Yeah, I agree with this. Parents should absolutely be monitoring what their kids are looking at online. The issue is Twitch is advertised as a website for them. It is advertised for users 12 and up. So parents will naturally assume that the website doesn't feature like this. I think yeah. that's a pretty reasonable assumption to make. Like I don't have to sit and watch Nick Jr. constantly with a 10 year old just in case Peppa Pig decides to go girls gone wild. It's safe hmm. to assume that is not going to happen. So yes, yeah. you should be monitoring what your kids are doing online, but this isn't like a kid going onto an 18 plus website. This is a kid going on a website that is advertised for them that is made for exactly them. so this mm. is in big part the website's problem a lot of people were saying that the solution to this would be making twitch 18 plus which i agree makes perfect sense to do but the thing is twitch won't make it 18 plus because that's what drives away advertisers lots of advertisers uh, won't advertise but, but i also feel are. that making the whole twitch 18 plus it's not a good thing because there is a lot of content that is not 18 plus yeah you know, like I would say, like the majority of the content is not 18 plus. Yeah. You know, yeah. there is like these very few minority, but the thing is, like five years ago or 40 years ago, whenever these these things started during the pandemic, 
This used to be like one or two percent of the overall streams. Mm -hmm. But now they are increasing Eve more and more and more. Mm -hmm. You know, before it was just like a handful of girls. Then now it's a few hundred. Now it's thousands. You know, so they have to just you know close and whatever they do, they need to come up with a thing because. Just because a few thousand streamers, you cannot fuck up the life for millions of streamers. Yeah. Because if you make a living uh, streaming Valorant, Fortnite, uh, World of Warcraft, or any of these games, you don't curse, mm -hmm. you know? What, what's wrong, you yeah. know? You know yeah. th th there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, l like she's saying, there is no way brands will ever uh, put their ads in an 18+. plus. yeah. You know, uh, a website. They're 18 plus. It's too risky. It's bad for their brand. And Amazon, the owner. Th that's why a lot of brands, they don't put ads on Kick. Mm. You know, they, because Kick platform uh, for t for streaming mm -hmm. is too, uh, is a big brand risk. Mm -hmm. Twitch needs more money. Because you don't know what you're going to see the on the stream. Twitter isn't being made 18 plus. Because at the end of the day, the richest men in the world need more money. And apparently Twitch is going bankrupt. No wonder they want to keep the Twitch thoughts on the platform. Also, I didn't even know that Twitter was only 30. The thing is like, most of the money doesn't even come from these Twitch thoughts. Mm. They get most of the money from their fucking OnlyFans and donations yeah. and directly to them. They can't even put ads on their stream mm. because, again, brand risk. So why don't they blog if they're not if Twitch is not getting any profit out of it? Then I, why the fuck they? Just... I, I feel like because uh, Twitch is still like a California company, which is very liberal. Like when it comes like to idealism, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like they in Amazon in general, I feel like they are afraid that if they ban all these women, mm -hmm. they will get like this massive backlash mm -hmm. that they are against women. They oh. are the, uh, again, like the, the same things, right? Yeah. Like if you're against yeah, these, like you are restricting uh, women's rights. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. You're, you're putting, uh, it is already a, a, m a male dominant platform, and now that women are rising, uh, and now you want to do, yeah, but, uh, and the women, no? I, th I think it's, uh, the responsibility of women because they are exploiting the whole rules mm -hmm. because they're not being naked on on screen yeah but they are being naked you know i think they are being very smart yeah i think it's the it's their responsibility but because as long as they there, are, there someone are is cashing some, there are some decent and also you know what it is making and i feel like so fucking bad for normal girls trying to make a living yeah. and trying to become professional streamers not in this way yeah but here's the deal for young men like like they, they were saying right mm -hmm. now you're going to think that every female twitch streamer is like this mm. you know or that you will expect it is the same way as this mm -hmm. why porn is bad for young men because or for anyone in general yeah. like it's because if you watch and consume too much porn you're gonna lose the touch of reality so True. whenever you're gonna go have sex you probably sometimes don't, don't even get horny or because it's just like you're so into this deep you know fantasy mm -hmm. that if your girl is not deep throating you she's yeah. doing bad yeah. you know or if she whatever you know so I feel like the consequences for female streamers are similar to that. They are watching a lot, a lot, a lot of these streamers, also Korean dancing streamers with their mm. boobs, you know, like jumping in these things. They are watching so much of this content that whenever they see uh, a normal female streamer, mm -hmm. they will think that, uh, like, why are you not showing your boobs, you know? Yeah. Or they will get, like, so much more harassed in... Uh, I just, I mean, it just me makes makes really tough for the for women. Hmm. You know, it's like women are even against women in this yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, you know? in a way. Yeah. Thirteen plus until embarrassingly recently. Elon, I beg of you, either make Twitter eighteen plus or get rid of the. 
different. I personally think the former is the better idea because I'm tired of seeing <laughs> unsolicited opinions of minors on the internet, and I just don't get tired of seeing images of strangers' butt pop up on my Twitter timeline while I'm scrolling in public. Always oh, a joy. Yeah. But think of the children aside, Twitch is just not a website for this. There are thousands of other websites for this. There are so, so many. So why do these women have to do this on a website not for this? Well, it's simple. Because the websites that are made for this stuff are already oversaturated. The market is full and basically these mids are not going to stand out on a dirty webcam site where there's thousands of other people doing exactly what they're doing. Yeah. But when there's only a few dozen on Twitch doing it, they're more likely to stand out, get more followers, make more money, and attract an audience that wouldn't normally go on those other sites. Unfortunately, in this case, a much younger audience. I remember in like 2008 or so, I did a fan meetup and most of the people that came were in their 20s, in college, in their 30s. But there were like a few 12, 13 year olds, 15 year olds with their parents. And I was just like, oh, oh, Oof. oh no. Like it just didn't even occur to me that people. That Do you think that will happen to us ever? I think so. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. E even if we're making like this type of content, mm. you, you think we are still going to attract like very young people? I think so. I I, I will like mm -hmm. okay, maybe not a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, definitely I think not like 10 or 12 year old kids, mm -hmm. but maybe like above 15 or 16 definitely, I think. Mm. Yeah, but but that's already you can comprehend and can have like a, you know, a, a good conversation. Yeah. But still I feel like <laughs> Our content probably will be relatable more to someone that is above 25, mm -hmm. 25, 26. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, probably, th I'll say, sure. even like uh, average 28. And I, I don't know the the, 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 the chat's uh, age, but I will probably say around like 26, 28. I, I feel it's like 24 to 35, 38. Mm, That's the right. Yeah, yeah. But you're always going to get an uh, exception. You're going to get uh, older, younger, you know, but yeah. th th that's, just, that's just how it is. Uh, Pradeep on, uh, on Twitch was saying, uh, I was watching a female, ra uh, a random female streamer a few days back and a random guy in the chat asked her to strip. That's a kind of mentality. Yeah, it, it, you know, like th that's how it's going to be. Like it used to be like this in a very minor thing. I think now it's just like 10x because of like the, yeah. these streamers that young would be watching my content or interested in my content. But just the fact that people that age knew about me was so scary. So I just have to wonder, like, how are these people not feeling that way? If you, if you know that the, there is um, a younger audience, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's only one person who is like 13 or 15 year mm -hmm. old, it immediately gives me this certain responsibility to just be sane and be responsible to not, you know, mm. be responsible about I, my content. I, 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 I understand what you're saying because, you know, at some point I had to make like that decision. Yeah. But it doesn't last long because, of course, I try to, whenever they watch my stream, to, even when I gave like some advice, I know they were like fucking too young probably to even understand yeah. what I was saying. But I always try to make the stream a positive thing you know mm -hmm. but it is uh, you can uh, it, it is a live stream you know like you can yeah. constrain yourself until a point mm -hmm. you know but um yeah you have a kid watching you're probably gonna be a bit more you know uh careful with a few things but after 30 minutes you're probably gonna forget about yeah, that yeah. you know but, but i i can relate to this thing what she's saying yeah. you know it is alarming you it, know? Is, it is weird that sometimes you don't want to do something which can affect some 13 year old kids brain or in some different ways you know yeah it is a responsibility hopefully you will affect them but in a yeah, positive but, way yeah you know? yeah yeah <laughs> like i didn't purposely go out of my way to attract that audience but yeah. these people are going out of their way to attract that audience yeah. if they weren't they wouldn't be doing it on this website. They would True. be doing it on the websites this stuff is for. What makes it possibly even grosser is the fact that Twitch uses in-game money. Meaning a kid could use their parents' money to buy Twitch bits or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then use those Twitch bits in order to get these women to interact with them and to shake their...
things and their parents would never know. Many yeah. people suspect this is the reason Twitch made that change, but no, I don't that's, know. It that's does not, line up not, with not at all. Demo. They will do anything to keep these women on their platform. They are their cash cow. They bring in the big bucks. After all, there is a market for this. Men takes two to tango. Most of these bitches would be broke if it wasn't for your coomer asses. Oh wow, sex workers sex working under capitalism? How crazy. Every so you see, like this is exactly what I was saying. Like this is the half percent that I feel like men are responsible. Because mm -hmm. as you said and well, mm -hmm. nobody is forcing them to give them money. Yeah. You know, if nobody gave them money, if nobody watched them, they will stop doing. Yeah. But because they are a few minority that are doing these and to a large extent yeah then they will just keep doing you know? mm -hmm. that, that that's just how it is every man in this comment section has mommy issues and gets no actions y'all mad she's making more money with less effort finding this tool makes you a pervert go to your dead mom uh -huh. Smartest Some people are. Twitter user. What? Sounds like you're just mad you can't manipulate a following in the same fashion. Granted, I don't condone it, but you're coming off as salty as a group of people found a loophole around the TOS and are abusing it. Frankly, these women should be praised for thinking outside the box and pandering to an audience that isn't oversaturated. You can't exactly criticize them for being smart enough to know which outlet has a higher chance of... Again. You can definitely praise them yeah for being smart they are being smart way fuck it yeah. probably way smarter than most streamers yeah they act dumb but they are so freaking smart 100 percent. you can admire their smartness their willingness as a uh, skill yeah but i cannot admire and respect the activity True. what you know in uh the whole thing it just goes against my my my, my values yeah. you know yeah uh, it's it just it's just plainly wrong, you know. Yielding income. What do you mean? It takes two seconds to take off my shirt. Literally, any woman in the you know you know what I is the same. I was just thinking about like there was um a few years back this very uh, this robbery right, and the guy was seamless. You know, nobody figured it out that he stole this painting and all this thing. Only like uh twenty years uh after because he got, he gave it back. Mm -hmm. He got tired of it or something <laughs> like that. I don't know what it was. He just gave it back to the museum. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he explained in the letter, how did he do it? Oh. And then, so... What did he say? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't okay. really remember like the, the, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But this just reminds me of the thing. You know, like you can admire his expertise that he stole the thing. It doesn't mean that he what st right st thing. stealing is not, it, yeah. it's not bad, right? Yeah, it's not so, good. Yeah, it's not good, exactly world can do this but most don't because making on a website mostly populated by minors is gross and insane gonna be honest i thought you were a dude <laughs> funny you shame the women when it's clearly women just taking advantage of the system we live under capitalism yet you call yourself a socialist a what lot is of issues this? do come down to capitalism but as we do so often with other things you can criticize people exploiting this system and exploiting the loopholes in this system we don't just hand wave away politicians buying stock we don't just hand wave away jeff bezos making his employees pee in bottles just because we live under capitalism and it is what it is no yes ultimately i guess it's a capitalism issue it's a TOS issue, but you'd never apply this standard to people marketing gambling or crypto scams on Twitch, which is funny yeah. because like a year ago there was a there was like a bunch of gambling drama on Twitch and one of the biggest critiques people had was there are children on this site. You're basically selling gambling to children. So how is this any different? It's a so, I'm not aware of this word. word. So uh, a few years back there was like these Again, a Twitch meta mm -hmm. that <laughs> there was like these um, crypto casinos uh, like stake.com, which they came very, very strongly um, advertising streamers. So they will pay a lot of money to streamers. So they will stream on, on stake.com. And there used to be a category called slots. Okay. Okay. So you were pretty much, you had lots and lots and lots of medium sized streamers and big streamers. Promoting gambling mm. for little children. And oh. these same people that now they are defending these women mm -hmm. are probably the same that one year ago, that's our argument, were saying that 
why you have gambling on your website if okay. you're promoting for little children. Mm. So how is this different? Yeah, yeah. You know? I agree. Like, it's bad it's for the, them. Yeah. It's bad for them. And not only is bad for them, the same way that slots was bad for them, but also for Twitch, this is the also same the thing. Same. It is exactly the same thing. It's amazing that just because they're women, suddenly they get a pass. And if you call it out, you are slut shaming or a pick me, of course. Oh, look, Queen Pick Me. Is that it? Th this is all has to do because of politics and how this woke uh, mentality works and how Twitch is so afraid of making any harsh decision because. 100% the woke movement yeah. will shift it into uh, you are bashing women and cancel the platform can trying to cancel Twitch yeah. etc it, it is very risky it is, are, it is. Uh, that's why they, they, if that was not the case mm -hmm. this already be gone but again putting down other women she is I'm not like other girls personified okay this insult normally oh. doesn't work but it especially doesn't work here because I am do you like know this girls. uh if you say there is this term called pick me girls, mm -hmm. so if you say I'm not like other girls, uh -huh. you know there mm -hmm. are certain men, they is women, they say oh I'm not like other girls, yeah, I yeah. don't like to do makeup, and they are yeah. considered pick me girls. Mm -hmm. So if you are defending this, other women are coming and say oh this is pick me girl because she is talking shit about these women. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. Most women, in fact, do not make on Twitch. It's incredible how criticism of even like a single woman is seen as some personal betrayal and the only reason you would do so is male attention. I never understood why I need to feel some sort of like loyalty to complete strangers just because we were born the same sex. I don't know you bitches. I don't support all of you. Some of you were dumb. Like as if these kids don't have access to porn at the tips of their fingertips. Trust me, if they want porn they will get it. There aren't any toddlers on Twitch as far as I'm aware. It's 13 plus. Do Americans think children will be traumatized by seeing naked women? Do they not realize those same kids can and do simply go to porn sites to jerk off? Uh, Shu, I hate to tell you this, but the average kid is seeing way worse stuff online all the time. Uh, yeah, that's... that's not a good thing. Let's be real, this ain't nothing to kids nowadays. I grew up with the internet as a kid slash teen and was able to find stuff back in 2002. Where now it's literally so easy to find stuff and most teens have phones. I don't think they would be phased by this content. Again, that is a bad thing. Maybe it shouldn't be that way. Yeah. I hate this whole, well, that's just the way things are attitude. That's how you mm -hmm. get people coming up with these head ass ideas, like making Let me see. for kids because kids so, will find porn anyway. What? There were so many. Wait, wait, wait. Someone needs to create porn for children. Hear me out. Young teens are already watching porn and they are finding hardcore aggressive videos that are giving a terrible view on sex. They need entry-level porn. A softcore website where everyone asks for consent and no one gets choked, etc. They don't need... I think they need sex education. They, they, okay, in, in here in school, you have sexual education class. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like anything that goes into the porn world probably is going to be detrimental to, for, to them. Yeah. You know? Because, again, porn is fantasy, is sexual fantasy. Mm. It is not reality, you know? And it's not healthy to watch no. porn. Mm. Not at all. And this is such a weird idea. This is a very weird idea. Yeah. It's the same as like, no, don't put them gambling. Just give some soft gambling. Yeah. <laughs> Making for kids because kids will find porn anyway. There were so many replies to me that were like, um, I was watching hardcore since I was 10 and I turned out fine. Your Twitter oh. likes are public, sir. No, you didn't. You don't see a problem with this because you are extremely desensitized. And honestly, so am I. I'm no swerf. I'm no swerker, exclusionary, radical feminist. Because first of all, I'm not a feminist. It's like our culture has become so overly sexual that it's not even sexual anymore. Our culture is just yeah. becoming so true. desensitized. Oh, th th this is actually so true. Yeah. Th th let's go back to the point that, you know, 
five years ago, if you were using a cleavage, you were doing almost sexual content. You were being called a whore. Yeah. Now you're doing this and Your people brain... are defending you. That is completely fine. Yeah. They... You are your brains are continuously getting getting desynthesized mm -hmm. in a way that people are reaching to and forget about this uh sexual content in normal content also yeah like people are people they are doing crazy shit that if someone is doing normal shit it yeah. doesn't it doesn't doesn't affect, a, you. doesn't affect you right yeah if you're just doing a normal content it's like huh, what is the hook what is the trigger what is the yeah. you know like like uh mr beast yeah he's like doing like these cars and like big, exploding big... yeah etc if you are as a young creator who is not that rich mm -hmm. wants to create similar content mm -hmm. no one is gonna watch you'll have to cross that level of uh, mm -hmm. you know but I, I I feel like when it comes like to, I I feel like this way. I feel like Mr. Beast will always be Mr. Beast. Yeah, and, it was just an example. But but, but I, I feel like there will be a a, a shift on the wave of like uh, I people. I, I think after like five years of Mr. Beasting, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Beefication or like of YouTube and content yeah. in general. I feel like we're in the future getting into a place where people are getting slightly tired. Oh, yeah. And, uh, like, for me, I will personally say I'm fucking tired, you know. I am tired of the content which gives me hooks. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I, if I open the YouTube channel and they're giving these hooks, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I don't want to watch that. Yeah. I want something which is easygoing. You know, simple and yeah, not something that you to can relax, me. get into it, yeah. get the juice and get out. Yeah. You know, and yeah. not feel like you just got bombarded with a lot of things in a yeah. very one, uh, short period of time. Mm. Yeah, I feel like that. That's one of the reason why uh, we are doing this in this way, and uh, definitely is not hooking enough for certain people, and for others, is perfect. Yeah, you know. And uh, I, I know that if we were going to do, like, very uh, hooking things, we can probably attract more people, like, sh in, a, in a shorter period of time. Mm -hmm. But the other side is, like, is that people that we're going to attract are the people that we want to be here? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's, like, it's always, a, like, a, a double-edged sword. Mm. And that's not a good thing. I guess I just miss the days of tasteful thigh. Because of this oversaturation, many in Gen Z are apparently craving normal relationships on the Oh, that's exactly what we were talking, we were talking about. Everywhere. To them, sex has been available one Google click away since they were like four years old. Yeah. It's having really yeah. negative outcomes. Like the amount of grown ass millennials calling Gen Zers prudes and puritines is another word I saw. Puritines. It's just really weird like I'm sorry, we're all addicted gooners. Maybe the younger generation is trying to tell us something. Someone called me a prude over this. Me. Just like with video games when I was a kid. Boys are mad because girls are playing in a space they've deemed theirs and are kicking their ass. Bro, well, they, but, oh I, I my didn't, god. Like, I didn't get... Look at this comment. They are saying that men, men are mad at these women because... The same way in the past, whenever they were playing video games, mm -hmm. they, they they was usually used to say, "Oh, you don't belong to these," or you they used to, like they definitely like ten years ago. Whenever Twitch was not even Twitch, it was like other thing, mm -hmm. uh, just in TV, and then became Twitch. It was a very tough place for women, mm -hmm. you know. But over the years, there was a big uh, acceptance of gamer women. Mm -hmm. especially if you know if they knew of, if they were a gamer mm -hmm. you know that, that, that happened and uh, they over time they develop and they got like this respect and they fought a lot you know for their space it is not hard to be a woman on uh, Twitch no matter what you guys want to say even if you're doing like this content mm -hmm. you can get like a few thousand views but that's probably all you're going to have, yeah. you know? Yeah. You will never be one of the top big streamers doing this content. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the other side, you used to have uh, normal 
streamers, female streamers like Pokemon and a, a few others, that they rise to the top doing normal things. Yeah. Because more people in general will uh, will will watch you. So sexual content, it, I feel like is it this way. It's very attractive to because it feels like it's very easy to do. Mm-hmm. You're probably gonna see a lot of a big, big spike. You know, like you immediately gonna start streaming and uh, you're gonna have like a few couple hundred views or maybe even like dozen views. Okay, then all of a sudden you're okay. I got one thousand viewers, but I feel like you don't go below maybe four, five, six k doing this. You're gonna make a lot of fucking money, that's for sure. But you're not gonna ever. If your goal is to become very influential. Mm-hmm. And become like a big, big streamer. You gotta go the path that everyone did, you know. Yeah. So that that's why I thought. That's just at it. So first of all, girls have already been in these spaces playing video games for years. There was no issue, so it's kind of weird to be like, "Sorry, we're kicking your asses, boys." Like kicking their asses at what? Being naked on camera? Being naked <laughs> on camera in front of minors? I just think it's interesting and ironic how like ten years ago these same people were fighting to keep women out of video games and now they are fighting to keep sexualized women on twitch a website for video games it has come full circle <sighs> if only anita was here to see it also imagine flipping the Who genders in I stupid think fake feminist. fan fiction uh. imagine a grown-ass man coming into like a female space i don't know what's a female space the stanley cup fandom those f-ing cups. Imagine a man coming into the oh. fandom of these f-ing cups, dangling his dick. Oh, these cups are so popular. And people are like, on Can you stop? It's really? really weird. And he's just like, Oh, wow, you just hate men. <laughs> like, f- you. Go away. These women aren't stealing anything from the men. If anything, they're stealing yeah. from the women. Because. Oh, so shit, true. that's exactly what I said. So true. That's exactly what I said. You know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if people if men will want to keep watching, you know, like the sexual content watch on on Twitch or or, or anywhere exactly. else. Exactly. You know? But for women that they've been fighting for their rights, you know, to not be always sexualized, which most of the times they still are, even when they go on the streets and all these things. Mm. And now what is happening is like there's a there's a big incentive to be sexual, big incentive to be sexual, and uh, because of all the social media, mm. you know, the the way the way it goes. Yeah, because the more Twitch becomes a website for this, the more this shit rises to the top, and the yeah. more normal streamers, especially women who don't do this, sink to the bottom. If I was a female, wait, I am a female. If I was a female <laughs> gamer, if I was a female gamer grinding my ass off in this male dominated space, the same way I'll a lot of men do, and seeing beast. what female yeah. content rises to the top of this website, I would be pretty demoralized. Look anywhere, not just Twitch. Sex work starts to appear like the only successful avenue a woman can go down. In 2014, yeah. there was a lot of talk about harassment towards women online and my answer would always be like just trolls just block them just ignore them they're trying to get a rise out of you which is still true but a lot of these people aren't trolls anymore they're your followers your friends your allies so true you see sexual harassment has evolved 15 years ago it was anonymous trolls entering your chat like show me your now it's yeah. Jeff he him politely asking if you're interested in joining OnlyFans. Oh. You know, show me your tits. That is so For such money. an interesting what is stopping me from thing taking she said. off my shirt and making a sh- ton of money. Besides, you know, a father figure. Pretty much nothing. Any woman can do this. Which yeah. is why so many women do this. The yeah. pressure is insane for young women nowadays. And they, 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 again, like they, there is no uh the the entry, the barrier of entry is very low. Yeah. Everyone has boobs. Yeah. You know, like, okay, most of them, right? Yeah. But e- e- even if you have, like, the most normal boobs, it no, doesn't fucking matter, it, it, man. It's all about the being sexy. No, no, the, even if you don't look sexy, you don't have looks, you don't have boobs, you chat will pay you to get one. Yeah, that's, you know? a, that's true. You're going to get paid to have, like, Twitch chat is the problem. surgeries. Twitch chat beautiful. and the YouTube chat is the problem. <laughs> no, yeah. because they pay and then you you can literally look 
good and sexy in this era you, this yeah. there's so many surgeries so much you of makeup you can literally change everything yeah so that's not a problem yeah it is uh is going wild Honestly, it is going I wild i do i feel bad for women what is this what is this strange feeling but from their point of view from what they've been told society is going to sexualize them anyway <laughs> you're a woman online and you don't sexualize yourself that's okay we got ai for that also while i'm editing this i just noticed that was an ad that's an ad on twitter it says ad in the corner dystopian oh there was a why not ad. simply take the power back and make money off the inevitable it's getting weird out there men and women are being pushed and pulled and so many different directions women are being sold this idea that they should be independent girl bosses who don't need no man and if they want to make the choice you know you know like do you think like this is creating like a polarizing view because i'm not a young man anymore right uh -huh. but i i, I kind of i'm kind of interested sometimes to speak like with younger men because i feel like the, there was a rise of these two things right mm -hmm. with the uh, women empowerment and all these things and then you see like this overly sexual content uh, happening mm -hmm. and then on the other side it's like uh, men that men power in like uh, I, uh, I I hate women you know red pill shit you yeah. know uh, and it's just like they are so extreme from each other you know uh, from one side you have like extreme you know girls doing Pseudo feminism. Okay, that that's a, that's a way to say. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, you have like these men. There's an alpha male. I want a wife to do. He has to be in the kitchen. You know, yeah. I'm gonna provide for her. She could do whatever. But I mean, where where are we at right now? It it just feels like we are. When it comes to men, I feel like we actually feels like we're going backwards, in, in uh like all the evolution that we did, is accepting more and more women mm. but it feels like do you feel like in a way then women now they have the freedom and they are not taking a good advantage out of it like it's just like they are you know like when people start abusing their power mm -hmm. you know or abusing your confidence mm -hmm. you know do you think like what is happening now uh because definitely women they fought all these years decades to get to a, a place that they can even be acceptable to do this thing, mm -hmm. you know? But w w what do you think, like, is making... Uh, wh what is your opinion, like, from these two sides? I think uh, there is also uh, people who are not pseudo-feminist, like women, mm -hmm. and there are men who are not, like, extremists, like these alpha men yeah, yeah. and type. Yeah, yeah. No, but no, the these are, is, like, a very minorities. Yeah. Like, vo very vocal minorities. So. Yeah, but the, the thing is, uh, as, like, these right-wing people, mm -hmm. they are very vocal about and very rigid about their thoughts. Yeah. I think this pseudo-feminism and these extreme men, mm -hmm. they are very vocal about it on internet mm -hmm. and they are spread all over the internet they, because they, they have easy <laughs> access to do that and the people who think straight they don't put that so it feels like that uh, it's overpowering mm. you know but i also feel that uh, a lot of this pseudo feminism and uh, women just exploiting the freedom and the world feminism mm -hmm. is also triggering men in a very strange way yeah like uh, if i say something which is has related to feminism uh, like mm -hmm. equal rights or something and if i don't my if i don't uh, use my words correctly and if i miss something mm -hmm. there are a lot of men they come with so much of anger mm. and they start judging me the uh, for the being pseudo feminist and all that mm. and also uh, a lot of men they are still they still are not able to accept that uh, mm. women should have these rights, you know? I, I mean, I think it definitely depends on the country, you know? It yeah. depends on the culture you live. Like, there are there are some cultures that are more advanced than others. Mm -hmm. uh, le le definitely, you know, that, that makes a, a huge difference, you know? World first countries, third world yeah, countries, you know, like, big, big shifts in... Uh, in op more open-minded so for me one of the things that i told you that i felt was like man it feels like in some things culturally mm -hmm. uh it felt like india was like 50 years 
behind, uh, behind yeah. in a few things. Yeah. And, uh, but when it comes to technology and things, no, 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 like, like you pretty much almost the same technology, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but it's like mainly like the mentality. Mm -hmm. It feels like different. But maybe I, I will say like Europe in a way is like the, the you know, the middle. Mm -hmm. And then you have like the very progressive um, you know, culture, like where, where all these movements first start. Usually it's in the U.S. Mm -hmm. where uh, they are leading the culture. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's, that's the reality nowadays because we are on the internet. Anything that happens on the U.S. probably much gonna, gonna, gonna spread. spread all over no? the so they are like pushing it. It doesn't affect a lot of like Asian countries, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but definitely like this Western part is mm -hmm. very affected for whatever is the course that um the american culture is is going because they are like they keep pushing yeah pushing it forward right so in some ways i feel like it is being really good you know um but i, I agree with you that i feel like it's for maybe for some men it's kind of for me i i i think like for me i think this way i will say that the average man mm -hmm. agrees at least here in the Western country, like my, my here in Portugal. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Okay. I don't live everywhere. Right. Yeah. I will say most men agree and they are completely fine with like equality. Equal rights. Equal rights. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but you know, the, but when it, you have like this feminist part hitting you for like, because like there are things that you feel like they are not okay, yeah, you know, yeah, and there are others that you feel that they are okay. For me, these these uh, Twitch thing mm -hmm. that they are progressing the the in pushing the female figure the like oh we are expressing ourselves and all these things, mm -hmm. but with the intent not to m empower women in a positive way, it is True. to make fucking money on the internet. It I think it's a reverse of women empowerment and feminism mm -hmm. because you don't have to depend on your fucking body to earn money. Yeah. You have more than your body. You have your brain. You have your skills. Use that. I mean, using body is not a... I don't know. You, using body is pretty much the... Yeah. The, 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 even if you go 1,000 years ago, that was the main weapon that women had. You know, that's why yeah. they say that uh, uh, prostitution is the oldest profession, profession in, the, in yeah. the world. Yeah. It's because that's how women, they used to be seen. You yeah. know, not as prostitute, but like as a sexual tool, you know. And, and I, now if you're, if you manage to reach to a certain point where you can get some sort of uh, equal rights and you get some sort of freedom to do what you want, I think you can do so much better than just using your body and earning money. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> you 100%. Can, yeah. And, and there is examples of women doing so fucking great, but yet they are probably not on social media. Yeah. but They don't have one million, one million followers. Yeah. Because maybe being a scientist, maybe being an inventor, maybe being a, 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 a good manager or a good uh, CEO is not as sexy. Yeah, is, yeah, th 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 that's know. that's the uh, yeah exactly what you're saying. Uh, I completely agree, and I also feel okay. Fine, if you want to use your sexuality, your body, it's fine because it's your choice. Definitely, no one mm -hmm. can say anything. But this glorification of only fans and the glorification of being a online, you know, sexual Twitch yeah. streamer, yeah. that's bad. Yeah. That's bad for young younger I, I generation. I feel like it's because everyone nowadays glorify is you know bigger number on your followers by the person. And and money and people and say money. oh fuck they are such because a more good followers more money more fame more things more yeah. these more that you know. It, sometimes we also glorify uh, these some big Twitch streamers who has been doing for many years. Yeah. And it is glorifying. Yeah. That fuck she earns a lot of money she mm -hmm. has brains she has like good business skills. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's how we glorify. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And that shouldn't be there. No, no, no. That can be there, you know, in a way. But that is what it's harmful for younger 
I, I don't think that, I don't think you uh, I, I don't see like yeah, okay I understand what you're saying because you see like big numbers and you start maybe glorifying that but it's not only about the numbers but definitely I'll say that uh, when it comes to social media the, it feels like such a big and uh, yo Johnzinho tudo bom uh maybe uh, he, he can also like someone I I I want to maybe have a podcast with someone younger. Yeah. Like someone with a brain and someone that can explain what is happening today's in today's age on uh, college or university. Yeah. I, I will the, I will be so curious because I want to understand what are the dynamics. Mm. Because in our age, whenever we were in high school, F Facebook was not uh, even a thing, but now it, followers no, was not a thing, you know. No. But now you live in an age where like TikTok, Instagram, and all these things, and I feel like that fucking matters, you know. Yeah. It feels like it probably matters a lot on high school because like the more followers you have, the more fame you have on that high school. So your friends' dynamic maybe changed mm. a lot of things. There's such a heavy weight probably for young men and women when it comes oh, yeah. to have a big number hmm. on your followers. It it the the popular thing, the popular uh, kids in the class, I think it depends on how much number you have on it. Before uh, was how much media. money if you came from rich families? Also if the, <laughs> if the guy plays guitar or, or guitar <laughs> exactly or, or if he was good at football? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. best in soccer or the cricket Basket, or yeah. basketball, whatever. But now is it feels like everything is about like the yeah. the, the social media. Uh, but we don't know. I uh, I'm very curious to know that. Uh, so you always saying, oh, that's kind of yeah, that's kind of true. At least in my school, it is both. Yeah. Hmm. So it, I I will I will be extremely uh, João. If one day you want to come on the stream and oh, yeah. uh, we can have a chat, because I'm actually extremely curious. To understand the yeah. the dynamics for a younger man, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then we can have a, a a girl too. It doesn't matter. What I'm what I'm most curious like is how it is for today's age when you go to school. Yeah, you know, what are the things that people put in the pedestal? Mm -hmm. That'll be kind of interesting. Choice to be sex workers, that's their choice, and I consider myself socially libertarian, so I'm all for personal choice. But how much of this really is? personal choice. And I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? Yeah. I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. When are things gonna go back to where you can work and support your family without f***ing stressing out? I can't do this anymore! I just got a good job. I start in September, but even with that job, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like, so I'm gonna do OnlyFans. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just. Oh feeling. my god! So I made the OnlyFans to pay my medic bills. I know Holy I'm shit! Normally, like, really, really positive, but I'm just like, how is everyone? You know what? This is you justifying your bad actions. It's just like, yeah. no, I, I just I just uh, stole from the, the grocery store because my family needs food. No, no. Uh, yeah, know? that is also the case. And also I feel someone who is really in need, this is a very attractive way to go. Yeah. To, you know, to earn the money. But but so, don't you think so like it's justifying a imagine, lot? Imagine if someone is like really frustrated and not getting anything and they have a lot of expenses mm -hmm. and they feel like to do it because everyone is doing and it's not considered a bad thing yeah. anymore, you know? So Yeah, um, it, that's how fucked up now the world feels, yeah. right? That it, it, it feels like it's not a bad thing to just do OnlyFans because yeah. now there are so many people doing OnlyFans. Yeah, like it happened like when I moved here. But but don't you think it's like a, it's a uh, a coping mechanism to even themselves to justify their actions? Like because like I will tell you that okay if you really need and if like there's a you're about to die or you and that's your only choice, I I will say like probably you have more choices. I, there you, there you, is more choices in life than doing OnlyFans. 
Yeah. But even if it, that's the case, that you feel like it's all, only... I think it comes from normalization. Mm. It is so normal that you don't, you feel normal to do that. You yeah. know, yeah. Be before it was not normal. So you don't even think about it, you know, because yeah. no shame comes from it. But now, but, it's but then fine. all of a sudden, the, like, everything will become, uh, you know, if we start normalizing everything that is bad in the society, yeah. this will become like a, a chaos. You yeah, know, yeah. We'll not, you know, everyone will start stealing. Oh, I need money. I'll just, uh, yeah. I'll just steal. I'll just act that person. I'll just scam that old lady. I'll, uh, you know. Yeah, that that's the main issue, you know, yeah. and especially for younger women, they don't know what is right and wrong for them yeah. longer term. Nelson, are you okay? Because the answer is probably no. We're gonna just start an OnlyFans in 48 hours. How much money did you make? <laughs> she made one million dollars. Oh yeah. I made a little over a million dollars. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Okay, see, this is the thing that I told you. Uh, she unveiled how much money she made. But again, we are talking about very one famous women less or, than one person or people that already built some kind of following yeah and fame in the past they probably they it's like not only they are attractive but also they have, they have influence yeah, yeah influence yeah. so if you don't have any if you don't have any influence even if you have the looks you're probably gonna create the only fans and all is gonna come maybe you're gonna get like a spike a spike of money but I'll tell you the negative impact of that because then your nudes, your porn or yeah. your soft porn will be forever on the internet, on these reddits that they expose uh, all these OnlyFans girls. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you don't need to pay for OnlyFans. Let me tell you. The same way you don't need to pay for porn, you don't need to pay for OnlyFans. You literally just go to Reddit, uh, to Reddit <laughs> and, find and everything. you find everything. Yeah. It's the same as like the, the, the sex tapes, the leaks, you know, everything. And once you are on the internet, if you want to go and you do a OnlyFans, if you ever want to turn your life around and go back to have a career in a legit company, yeah, or you want to be a teacher, or you want to whatever. Your moral, because there is a, a, a thing still in the companies. It's like your morals. Mm -hmm. What are your morals? And for a lot of companies, especially if they are traditional, because like Nike says, "Oh, we are so friend, uh, the blah blah. We are LGBT, blah blah blah." Yeah. So, but if you're fucking doing porn, I don't know if yeah. they're gonna get you. No. Uh, I, when we were in that office, we were watching this video of a girl who did like this OnlyFans for a few months. Yeah. And she was saying that she peaked. Yeah. And after a point, it was a draw because there was nothing new for yeah. people to watch, and also there was no influence like uh, her. You know? Yeah, be because you need to keep uh, feeding the pipe. Yeah. So. Know? She had this lawyer degree and she was applying for these uh, firms, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, what everyone does these days, like... Yeah, they search the name. They, they, search, they, they, the name. they search for you. You have to literally change your identity yeah, to and, start over your life. And That's she was it. not getting job and she also didn't want to do OnlyFans. She was yeah. just stuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, yo, welcome, welcome, Nebraska. Um, Amaranth is a professional Playboy model. I, I would say like she's, a, she's the Playboy right now. You yeah. know, you know, like when it comes like the oh the business of the Playboy magazine yeah, yeah. almost. You know, um, yeah. But but again, she she the, because she had like so much so much success. She managed to influence a lot of women of thinking that they can do the same. Yeah. But they just don't understand because probably they don't understand content. They don't understand like sales funnels and the, the way that you have to to use your influence to to keep pumping people to go to your uh, to your OnlyFans. You're gonna end up in the same situation as you told right now. Yeah. You're gonna probably have a few sales on the first month, and then it's gonna drop, and then it's gonna be very, very flat. But now you're in the internet, you're exposed. Yeah. You know? And there is no turning back. If she wants to do a content with just sweatshirt and normal content, no one is gonna watch. I think. Yeah, yeah, she tried, but then yeah. she she went from like uh, nine thousand viewers or eight thousand viewers to like two thousand. As I like, oh fuck, yeah. Yeah. you know, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna show my boobs again. Mm. It lasted very, very less. Yeah. 47 million to show tits and ass. Why wasn't I born a girl? Their lives are on rookie. I wish I was a girl to make easy money like that. Women have it so easy. It's not Do you think so? Fun. This 
it is the internal debate that women have to fight against especially this kind of men. Mm -hmm. And whenever these women come mm -hmm. and they are very successful mm -hmm. by doing exactly what they are preaching, mm -hmm. then women start losing power towards the, 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 uh, the side of these men, mm -hmm. you know, in society. You know, because for decades, you guys were fighting so badly for equality. Yeah. And it's the same as I say, yeah, why do I have to go to the club and have to pay my entrance and not have a free drink while women can go there and uh, have three, five drinks? You know, like mm -hmm. it's the, these comments, like it, mm -hmm. it's, it's exactly the same thing. Why? Mm -hmm. it's, not, no, it's not because they have boobs and they are well dressed. It's just because... If more women are in the club, they are going to drive more business. Yeah. That's why they get the free drinks and men don't. And that itself is so problematic in a way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I feel like, but is there a way? Because once you give something to someone, how are you going to take back that and still... Uh, it, it's just like every club, every nightclub had to take that back. It's like, yeah. okay, from now on, everything was going to be equal. Yeah, yeah. But for women, if you have one club that you have to pay entrance, but the other one, like right next door, is giving you three free drinks and it's still fine, like you're just gonna go there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's not a, it, it, it's not a, it's not a competition, right? Mm -hmm. Funny. There is a lie perpetuated by people on the internet that OnlyFans is this get rich quick scheme, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The average woman on OnlyFans I hope only she fought. One hundred and eighty dollars yeah. a month, and that's average. Most are making way less than that. But this get rich quick lie is not being sold by only random people on the internet. It's also being sold by only. So, so you see, let, let me go back to this because this, this is actually very insightful, mm -hmm. and uh, this is what it should be shown. Yeah. No, not only to the OnlyFans girl, but even like to Twitch streamers and <laughs> and YouTubers, uh, because like you're always watching and paying attention to how much money you can make, but you're never paying attention how much money this average, average person, person makes. So, you, you look at that. The average person that it makes one hundred and eighty per month, which is I mean pays the gas, pays the things, but this on average, which one means like. Means like you have people that are making millions and you have probably people that are making nothing. Mm. But still, even if Fair you're on the average finish. and you're getting, you know, money to pay the gas and things, is it really worth it? Because now we are like exposed on the internet. Yeah. And it, I I can't even imagine how life must be after that. Yeah. You know? Must be like it is so damaging for like rest of your life yeah yeah mom and that's average most are making way less than that but this get rich quick lie is not being sold by only <laughs> random people on the internet it's also being sold by only fans itself of course Kiss that 99 cent ramen goodbye and say hello to endless opportunities on only fans <laughs> This is just the 2023 version of, hey lady, I see you're having financial problems. Say, can you dance? I have a couple of friends who are pretty famous OnlyFans. Strip clubs. And they've disclosed to me that allegedly people who work for OnlyFans have approached them, telling them to post about how much money they made or show off expensive things they bought with money they made by being an OnlyFans model in order to recruit more women to be OnlyFans models. This includes showing off handbags, expensive yeah. clothes, makeup, cars, and even houses. Like, I just bought my first house thanks to OnlyFans. I'm 22. It's disgusting to do this in general, but especially disgusting to do this during a housing crisis. It's just evil. It's incredibly, incredibly rare you can make a living doing this. Just like YouTube. And I could not f***ing imagine See? if YouTube <laughs> sold itself like, tired of being poor? Become a YouTuber. Like, yeah. what? Now, why would they do this? Why would OnlyFans manipulate and entice poor, desperate people? Like because this? they're going to make oh, more money. That's why. Of course it is. Look at this. That's always why. In a way. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no, no. I think I skipped it too much. <laughs> people like this. Oh. OnlyFans reclusive owner made... 338 million last year. The owner of OnlyFans. 
That's insane. That's fucking insane. insane. That's why the, the, he doesn't care. The, at this yeah. stage, the, I don't think he cares anymore. Mm. Not only that, he doesn't care because he just he's just taking money out of the company. Yeah. You know, he's not investing. He's just like taking money. The, give me those three hundred million to I can pull because he probably also knows that this will soon uh, yeah. end. This, this won't be forever. This won't yeah. be forever. Yeah. I feel like hopefully women uh, and younger women will realize that uh, once they start seeing more and more of like downfalls, mm -hmm. they probably will start changing their minds. Yeah. And uh, Or maybe something else will come. And or or so a new platform new will trend. come, hopefully better than, than any of these. Yeah. But the reality is each platform, what are the newest platforms that came? TikTok. Only fans. Mm -hmm. I feel like the next one is going to be even more edgy. Yeah. Than these other, you know, so mm -hmm. they can, uh, you know, get their place in the market. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it's just like, it's just how uh, the, the, the direction we're going. Mm -hmm. That's why. Of course it is. That's always why. In a way, we are all selling our bodies to labor. We are all... Whether you work at a fast food place, you're a lawyer, or a YouTuber, you're a We're all for capital. At the end of the day, it's a job. These Twitch girls, these OnlyFans girls, they're getting their bag. Like me, like you, like everyone else. And I guarantee you, a lot of the men who about OnlyFans models would do it instantly if they could. You would all be and why wouldn't you go to college and go 100k in debt for a useless degree that won't get you a job or this why wouldn't you break your back and spirit working a nine to five that you absolutely hate and get no satisfaction from or this why wouldn't you and that for the modern woman is probably the most black pilling question right now why wouldn't you get yeah. exploited yeah. or exploit yourself. So is it really the Twitch thoughts fault? Taking advantage of a market to make it in an overwhelmingly <laughs> male-dominated field? Is it really her fault for trying to survive in this unforgiving world in a These society are feminist that will arguments. exploit and degrade her anyway? Is it really her fault? Yes! Yes, if, it is! Of course Get it is! Twitch. It isn't for the end so that was that video i have been wanting to talk about this subject for years now what do you guys think about this do you also feel that desensitization feeling i'm talking about and how old were you when you first found this kind of stuff has it affected your life or relationships at all but who cares about relationships who cares about real women when we can have an ai girlfriend am i right that's anyway, so true <laughs> with a new video possibly about that <clears throat> a new video for valentine's day okay bye. this was a uh... It was a very cool video. Yeah. I liked it.